what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Finally, some good news. The family of Kareen Gaines, a black woman who was executed by Baltimore County Police in 2016, has won an appeal in a wrongful death lawsuit. How much we talking? $38 million. A grand jury had originally awarded $38 million to the family who sued Baltimore County Police in 2018. One year later, a Baltimore County Circuit Court judge reversed the decision using the argument the officers should have been protected from such liabilities when carrying out their duties. I remember this case well. I reported on it. Kareen Gaines was only 23 years old when the police forced their way into her house and murdered her, shot her five-year-old son also. All of this over a traffic warrant. That's it, fam. But you see, it goes a little deeper. Before they came to her house and executed her in a standoff, she was pulled over by the police and she refused to get out of the car and she refused to provide her ID, her driver's license. They didn't like that. And she was like, hey, you know, I, I refuse to give you this information on the grounds of sovereignty. I'm a sovereign citizen. Now, say what you want to say about that, but did she deserve to die for that? See, this is the thing that some people don't get. And people who are quick to say, well, you know, if she would have just complied, she'd still be alive. How do you know that? Perhaps, but there are so many thousands of black people who've complied or didn't even know that they were even being ordered to do something by the police or that they had to do something. And they just, yeah, police came around and yeah, they ended up dead. Just like that. They didn't like the fact that she was standing up for herself, that she bucked them. So they decided to go back to her house and kill her. Why else would they show up with four cops to issue a traffic warrant for a woman? Don't make a lot of sense. The standoff only lasted one hour. Can you really call it a standoff? It lasted one hour, and check this out, family. Right before they killed her, they contacted Facebook and IG and told them to deactivate her account. So Facebook and IG, a lot of people was looking at them with the side eye, like they had something to do with the death also, because they shut down, though they shut down the public's viewing of a public execution. So you know they wasn't going to show us what they have. And I don't think those, the, the video, of the body cams have been released to this day. I remember not too long ago, they were like in like a 10 hour standoff with a little white kid who was shooting at them with a shotgun in his daddy's barn, shooting, shooting, shooting at the police. And they talked him down till he got sleepy and they let him walk out alive. They know how to de-escalate. They know how to have patience when they want. They know how to be respectful when they want to. 
and they know how to go in for the kill. It all depends on how they feel. And they felt like killing that woman. I don't care what nobody said. This. They shot her son. And I mean, they were just reckless with it. They wouldn't have minded if they killed him. So how did the money get bust down? If the judgment stands. Kareem Gaines' father would receive $300,000 her daughter would get $4.5 million. Her mother would get $300,000. Her estate would get $300,000. And her son, Cody, would receive $32 million. No punitive damages. They should have thrown in $100 million for punitive damages alone kid going to be messed up for the rest of his life. No amount of money can replace the experience that you have with your mother. That's going to be tough. If that woman offered to surrender, wish to surrender, which she did, she should be alive. They didn't give her that chance. They wanted her dead. Police say they fear for their lives. You don't fear for your life and walk into danger and kill and then say, I fear for my life. Now, you're not in the military, man. You're not in the middle of a war zone. If you fear for your life, you back out and you wait. They went in there. One door, the dude went in there. The, the lead dude, Rudy, whatever his name is, he kicked the door in and started shooting. Does that sound like somebody who feared for their life? Feared for my life is just a cold phrase they use to get away with murder. Because after all, how do you know how he really felt? Who can say how a person felt? Now, that second judge, when they won their first judgment, the second judge threw it out because he said that the police couldn't be liable for the murder while doing their job. Do you understand what that means, fam? That means that what if you were like a cook at a restaurant and you purposely waste grease all over the floor. Somebody walk through there, bust their head wide open and die. You're not culpable. You don't get no, you don't, you don't bear any responsibility. That don't make sense to me. Killing Kareem Gaines did not make the neighborhood safer. Didn't make the community any safer. I would argue that killing Kareem made the community less safer because once again, crooked cops got away with murder. What does this do? Embolden the next crooked cop. Oh yeah, the community is definitely less safer. Would have been safer had she been alive because Kareem was a rider. She was not afraid to protect herself or her family. She was not afraid to stand up for what she believed in. And then I can recall her boyfriend at the time, who was the father of her daughter. He grabbed the daughter and dipped, left her behind with the boy. That bastard better not get a dime of that money. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.